adding theatre boxes or stencil indicators to signals not equipped with them. Here we have a station with two platforms and a siding with three sidings. I want to have a signal that has a theatre box that shows A for platform A, B for platform B, and then a stencil indicator which shows C, D and E for the sidings. Now, that particular combination doesn't exist in the pre-built signals available from Just Trains, but we can make it up from components. Let's get as many as we can in on the first signal. So we have a 5T, because we have five tracks. We'll keep a, have a theatre box for the two platforms and a C for calling on indicator. But we're still missing the stencil indicator, but we're going to add that as a separate asset. So, usual system. Click to the left of the track, place link 0, place link 1, link 2, link 3, link 4, and link 5. So let's configure this signal up as much as we can. Just give it a name. So for the first link we want a for platform A. For the second link we want B for platform B. But for these links I don't want the theatre box to indicate anything at all for the yards. So I'm going to enter, I'm going to assign them as yard links to yard links 3, 4 and 5. But that's it. So now let's add in a stencil indicator. Scroll down to JTMS others towards the end. Sorry, not others, stencil indicators. We've got three links that require a stencil indicator illumination. So we go stencil indicator 3T. Oh, before we do that, let's press spacebar to show the links up. The signals. Now this link 0 needs to be placed just ahead of the link 0 for the signal. So just in front of link 0. Place link 0. Again let's keep links inside the existing ones. Link 1, link 2 and link 3. As you can see all links placed slightly in front of the links already there slightly before. If we move the um, th uh, stencil indicator up to the location we want it, it has to be done manually unfortunately, but we're lucky in that the signals have been created to allow you to line these up and for it to look correct. One thing I'll try and prevent if you look closely here, we've got the grey bottom of the um, of the uh, main aspect signal appearing, so let's just adjust that height so that disappears. The other thing I'll try and remove is the glow in front of the signal, so if we just drag the signal uh, stencil to go slightly forward until that glow pops behind the signal. There we go. Okay. Um, out slightly. There we go. So it's in line with the bottom of the position line. So it's a manual task. Appreciate it can be a little bit fiddly to get looking right, but that's unfortunately the best we can do at the moment. Okay, so I'll double click the theatre box. There's no need to give this a signal ID. Um, we wanted a C, D, and E to show when those links are connected. Okay, let's see how this works in an actual scenario. So here we have our scenario, four trains. The first train has been routed into the platform and is receiving an A. To make this appear go to single yellow rather than a green, we need to place an end of track signal that's covered in a separate video. So 
So our second train is now going to approach. Here it comes. As soon as the points are set for the correct path, there we go, it clears to a B. The train will probably stop at this signal because when it entered the section, the signal was at red. Again, that's an issue with how the game handles um, signals. Nothing to do with the signals themselves. Here it goes. So we'll go return to red. The third train is going to approach. The signal will remain at red until it hits the magnet, at which point the associated position light or calling on indicator will clear the signal will remain at red and the stencil indicator will show a C for the third for the first siding here comes the train there we go if we zoom in Now our last train is going to come along, this time it will clear with a D. So the important thing to remember about theatre boxes and stencil indicators when you're adding them in as separate assets is that the zero link goes in front of the zero link for the signal you're linking it to, setting it up with, which is the opposite of yard boxes and approach control boxes and things like that where the zero link goes after the zero link for the signal. There we go, the train's now into the yard.